Hi everyone, Katie here. Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be working on a super cute uh, tote bag project, very beginner project using some adorable placements that I got at Hobby Lobby. So it comes in a two pack and we have this uh, black and white buffalo uh, check. Um, so they were $6.99 and I got them 40% off. Also while I was there, I got the nylon webbing for the straps. And I went ahead and got a red, because I think I'm gonna monogram it. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun just to have the straps a different color. I was very tempted to get a black, um, but I just thought I would jazz it up a little bit. So that's up to you. And it depends on how long you want your straps. I went ahead and purchased a yard and a half, and then I have cut that in half. Um, so, um, cause I was kind of measuring off my purse strap at the time. Um, but then that gives me a long enough strap to put it on my shoulder. Um, and then the other thing, what did I do with it? Had a little piece of Velcro for Velcro closure. Oh, I think I've dropped it on the floor. I knocked it off, sorry. And I just have a little piece of Velcro to make a closure. Um, other things I have are my scissors, ruler, and chalk um, to mark the ends. And then this is actually gonna be a two part project cause then I got another two pack of placements and then we're gonna make a like coordinating little zip pouch uh, that can go in it or you can use it as a cosmetic bag or some other kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and angle down the camera so you can see what I'm doing and we will get started. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these over so right sides are facing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm using one of these clear rulers. This is my favorite rulers. Um, it's two inch clear ruler, very handy. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna go with a two and a half inch square. So I'm gonna mark two and a half inches, um, top and bottom. And we are going to cut out a little uh, two and a half inch notch here so that we can make um, a flat bottom bag. And flip this around so I can get to it. And we will do the same thing here. Okay, so any kind of little marking pen, get this one marked. Okay, so I've marked these, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these out. Now I've got both placemats laid together, so I'm just gonna cut it out at the same time. You can cut it individually, and then this way I know that they are going to match up. And we're just gonna cut this out. So we're just gonna remove that. And we will cut our next one. So now I've got these two, two and a half inch notches cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sewing down the sides of the placement and then across the bottom. Okay, now the nice thing is these placements, they are lined, um, but the bag itself is actually not going to be lined. So you will be, um, you will see the seams inside. So if you don't want to see, see that, you certainly can line the bag. Um, so it's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start sewing. I'm going to put my presser foot down here. Reach over a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And as I start, I'm going to take a few stitches and I will reverse. I'm going to lock that in. And I'm just stitching right along that um, row of inside stitching. I've got about a half inch seam allowance because I don't want that showing on the outside of my bag. And I'll turn, I'm gonna sew right across the bottom. And again, as I start, I'm gonna take a few stitches in reverse, lock that in. And 
And now I'm going to go and I'm going to sew up the other side. Okay, I'm clip my little threads here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take our bag and we're going to go into this little corner that we've cut out. And we want to open it up. Now there is two layers, so make sure you, because I just only grabbed one there. Okay, so I'm pulling this open and I'm going to get these seams to meet now this can get a little bulky, but I'm going to press that open right there. Just hold it open. So you can put a pin, um, or if it's easier for you, if you want to fold one to one side, one to the other, just depends on how well your uh, sewing machine uh, goes over the bulkiness. I'm going to go ahead and open mine. And then I'm going to be sewing right across the bottom here. Now you can pin it. I don't like to use a lot of pins. Um, so if you're newer to sewing, I would, you know, just put a pin or if you like to use the clips, you can use those. So now we have that side sewn, just like that. I'm gonna come over to this side. We're gonna open this one up. So here's our notch. I'm gonna pull it open. And we're going to meet the seams. I'm gonna open these up so that they're flat. And get them lined up. And then we'll be sewing right across here. Make sure you reverse, get that locked in there good. Trim your threads, so now we have that. Okay, so that's Actually, I sold that one closed. Okay, so now we're going to turn this, write that out, push this in. And just use your hand to push this out. So as you can see, you've got the base of your bag put together. There is that. So now what we want to do is get our straps. Now the cool thing is um, we've got our stripes for our plaid to kind of give us some markings here. But you might want to use your um, ruler or your hand gauge and measure out from each seam. You know, this is three inches out because you want to make sure that your straps are placed in the same spot, you know, so they're even. So. And it never fails. I get started and forget something. So let me grab a couple pins. So I'm just gonna pin my straps. I'm pressing this out so this just making sure so this is a marking over here I want to put this next strap three inches from the edge because the other one is three inches from the edge but it's not necessarily right on the edge of the black so 
That way you know that your straps are even. So you have those. So this has some stitching for the edge of the placement and I'm just gonna use that as my guide. I'm just going to sew right on the stitching of the placemat for my straps. Take that over to the machine. Now these are straps, so I would stitch forward and then backwards just to re uh, reinforce it a little bit because depending on what you carry in your tote bag could be kind of heavy. And then I'm just gonna move this up. I'm gonna do two rows because I've got two rows of stitching um, on my placemat. Because that, again, is just some reinforcement to hold my straps. And clip my threads. them on the inside and then I'll slide this in here and do the other end and then I'm going to reverse back across I'm just going to pick this up and move it I'm not going to actually cut that thread just yet and we'll sew back over it need to put our straps on the other side. Now since you have these in place you want to use this as your guide as to where to put your straps on the other side because you want them to line up. So it makes it a little easier on this side. You can just match it up and you also want to make sure that you're putting it down the same amount. So I just laid them right on top of each other and have those lined up. Okay, so I've got those in place and we're going to, again, just stitch. I'm just using the stitch lines that were already on my placemat. If your placemat doesn't have that, you just wanna go um, right across the edge um, and just stitch across once and then reverse so that you have it um, stitched twice essentially so it holds those straps. I'm going to go across and then I'm going to reverse back and then I'm just going to pick this up and scoot it over because it's just a quarter of an inch or so and just stitch right on those lines. Clipping my threads here. Get those trimmed up. And then we'll do our other one. And we're almost finished. This is so quick and easy. And then we'll put our Velcro on just to have a closure. In reverse. And then I'm just doing a second row. So now our straps are on. Now what we want to do is we can use our ruler to find our center here. So let's see. In between my straps, I have about eight inches. So my center point is right here at four inches. I'll just put a little pin to mark. So that's four inches right there. And that's where I want to take my Velcro. And I'm going to place that on the inside. Just that way my bag will have a closure. I'm just going to pin this. Uh, I know this is black on black, but I'm just putting it just right down from the edge, not too far down. Um, and I'm just going to put a little pin because it is kind of hard to hold that. 
So just to show you, I've just got it pinned right there. And I'm just going to do a square and just sew right around the edge of that. And again, make sure you uh, back stitch and then if you keep your needle down into the Velcro, when you get to your corner, keep it down, then you can raise your presser foot and then swing your bag around and it's not going to move. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of fold back my other side and just so I can line up where that Velcro needs to meet it. So I've got it lined up and I'm just gonna put my other pin to hold this piece and do the exact same thing. So just so you can see this. Yeah, my, my Velcro is lined up right there. And now we'll take it over to the machine and we're just going to stitch around all the edges. Now our Velcro meets right there. Oops, gotta get my strap out. And just like that, we have a quick and easy tote bag made. Let me stand up and show you what this looks like. So super cute. It's gonna be even more adorable after I monogram it. Then we've got a little Velcro closure. And let's see if I can move my chair out of the way and show you guys how cute it is. So look at that. So the straps are perfect so I can undo this and get into my bag. You know, I could, depending on what size purse you use, this could even be a purse. Um, Cause some people like a bigger purse. Um, but I think this is perfect. I, I can carry stuff to work or the gym all kinds of little fun things and then I'll monogram it because everything needs a monogram in my world. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video and again placemats um, that I used are from Hobby Lobby. So this is the tote and I think it's super cute. So our next video this is going to be uh, a part two the next one we're going to make a zipper pouch to go with it. So again I hope you have fun. I hope you make lots of them. Share some pictures with me. Uh, you can always follow me on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, put all kinds of stuff from my store on there and our website. Um, you can shop with me at SoCuteByKatie.com. So if you have any uh, feedback of new projects you want me to do with you, um, be sure to put that in the comments. Um, love to get your ideas and love showing you some new things to sew. So have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.